Hey folks, this is Max with Active Workflows and welcome to another video. Now in this video, I want to show you how to build a custom um, list filter, okay? So, but first, I'm actually gonna show you a flow that doesn't work because um, I know some people run into this problem and I myself ran into this problem. So it's a good idea to know, I think first, what doesn't work and then I'll show you the uh, working version. So right here, I have a flow. Uh, this is just an email, just to, for the input. And what I'm doing is that I'm getting the all the user groups. And what I do want to do next is I want to. I only have three groups, but uh, you probably can have more. But all uh, this card, what it does is, it um, I'm trying to filter to return only the groups that have the word or the term no code in them. Okay, so let me just quickly show you. Take this. Let me show you that I have three groups here. All right. So there is one called uh, no code builders. There is one called no code automation. And there is a third group called for, for this particular user is called uh, everyone. Okay. So now, again, when I tried this for the first time, I, I thought this would work because I thought, hey, um, I'm checking to see if the term or the text no code is in the group name. So again, I'm trying to check if the, I'm trying to match all the groups that have the word no code in them, but, but it actually works the other way around. It actually takes the group name and tries to see if the group name is in this term. Okay, so it works the other way. And of course, it's not gonna work. So let me show you if I run this, it's actually going to give me, um, zero, right? Because again, none of the groups are in are in this term. Now, if I went ahead and um, let's see, no code builders. So this is one of the groups. And then I say, just add some text, uh, team, I don't know, nine. So actually now this will match because there's a group name that called no code builders. And so now it's going to match. Um, I know it's kind of a little bit maybe confusing at first, but all right. And right here we can see there was a match. All right. Anyhow, so this is how the standard card works. Uh, I can delete this. No uh, list filter, but um, you can create a custom filter that will help you with this problem. So let's go. And I've got two more flows here. Uh, first one is here. Uh, so it's the same thing. I just don't have a card here to start, but we have the same user. And notice here, I have list filter custom now. So the way custom works, let's open it actually as a helper flow. And what's really nice is, you know, it's, you need to create an extra flow, but with the custom um, logic, um, you can put any logic to decide if the filter, if the particular um, sort of group or term is included or not. Okay, so this is my logic. Uh, now, at the end, this helper flow needs to return true or false. If it returns true, that means um, there is a match. And so include it in your list. If it's false, that means there is no match for your custom filter. And that means do not include it in the new list. Now, again, the actual logic is up to you. I'm gonna run through this in a second, but yeah, it's completely up to you. You can make it as simple as you want or as sophisticated as you want. Uh, but let's go back. Now, so this is the same, we're just getting the groups. And now I'm passing the group list to the helper flow, uh, which is set right here. And then I'm passing, this is the group name, Right, so that's the no code automation, no code builders, and I think everyone. And I'm saying, this is the filter, this is the term that I'm searching for. So I'm saying, hey, give me all the groups that have the text no code in them, all right? So again, I wanna see a list, a new list, with only the groups that have the term no code in them. And this is, you can of course, enter any other term here. So let's go to the helper flow. 
So right here, this is the input. I've got the actual group name and I've got the filter. And what I do now is I use text find and I say look in group name. So this would be no code builders and look for no code. So now this works as sort of we expected the first time or how we want it to work. Um, so I'm taking again the group name and searching for that no code term. Uh, and then it turns to position. So if it's if it's a negative one, it means there is no match. If it's a zero or more, that means there is a match. What I'm doing next is that, um, so if, again, if position is um, zero or more, right? So um, if this is zero or more, this inside the parentheses will return false. And then I'm just negating it to make it true. And as I shared just a second ago, as long as this helper flow returns a true, that item will be added to the new list. So we find a position. Uh, this is more zero or more, which is false, and then it becomes true. Now, if there is no match, so negative one uh, is less than zero, which is true, and then it becomes false. And that means the current item is not going to be added to the list. All right. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Actually, um, let's open this back here and uh, let's run this. All right. And you can see I have a list. Um, and so you remember I have three groups, but only two of them should match. And I have two of them. So the first group matches no code automation, and then the other matches no code builders, and the third group everyone uh, doesn't match. And if I go to flow history, oh, I'm sorry, not for this one, but for for this one. So we can see the three runs here because they have three groups, right? So each group is passed into the helper flow. So let's see. This is as you can see no code builders look for no code so there is a match um all right and now this one no code automation so there is a there is a match so this is a true i'm mean, so this is a false then this becomes true and lastly we can see right there is no no code in everyone and um but um so yeah that's how this works um, and as I said, you can uh, create, really use any logic. And, and so now you can filter by whatever you need to filter by whatever text. And you have a sort of a new list of all the groups that match a specific term or text you are looking for. So that's how you create a custom filter. I also have a blog post about that. So if you go to my blog and um, right here, it's sort of the same thing, but um, you can now read if you prefer to read. Um, all right, well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.